So Google Maps is something that you probably use all of the time in your daily life, but you don't always think about how you can use it in the classroom. So let's take a look at Google Maps. So you can get to Google Maps again by just searching for Google Maps or it is in your app switcher. You can load it that way. So when you load into Google Maps, it's going to load into whatever your current location is. You can get a map view or you can add the satellite layers so you can see the satellite images and you can do whichever way you prefer. You can search for a location and it will take you to that location, give you some information and um, key places. Um, there, you could zoom in to different places within that location. And then you actually have a little person so that you can look at street views. So I can click on this little person and when I do this and I drag it over, then I can drop it on anywhere that there's a blue line or a blue dot and it will take me in and it will show me locations where people have potentially uploaded photos and things like that. Go back out of this. You can also do directions in Google Maps, which is what we believe most commonly do with it. So um, I could start out in Boston, Massachusetts, and then let's say I want to go to Portland, Maine. So it's going to give me those directions. Um, and I can choose best, driving, by transit, walking, bicycling. I can add multiple destinations. And so I can plan out my route of travel. Once you have your destination picked out, you can click on it. And then you've got some options. You can actually choose to send it directly to your iPhone if you have an iPhone, um, and it will send those directions to the app on your phone. You could email them to yourself, so it'll send them to um, the email that you are logged into your Google account with. Um, or if you need to send them to someone else, you can click on the little share button here. You can copy this link and then send it to someone else uh, via email. Um, you can put it on Facebook, Twitter. Um, if you use Gmail, which we don't in our district, you could choose Gmail. Um, you also could get the embed code if you needed to embed a map into, say, a Google site or a website or something like that. So you can share the link out that way. And you could always print the directions to a destination if you need to. So we use that pretty commonly um, when we're looking for destinations and directions for where we're wanting to go in our personal life. But think about also being able to use Google Maps to plot out the journeys that um, historical figures took or um, to map out the places in a book. So there's lots of ways that you could potentially use Google Maps in your classroom and then pull in that street view to look at actual pictures um, within those locations.